So today I'm going to be taking you guys just through a typical deadlift day. So whenever I do deadlift, this is usually what I do. I just warmed up and I just warmed up to 135. And look at my buddy Colin right here. What's up, good fans? <laughs> he's going to be the cameraman today, so shout out to him. I appreciate it. So right now, I just said 135 for two sets of warming up sets. I don't really count the reps. I just go by how my body feels. So right now, I'm going to put on 225 for a couple reps. Then I'm going to 275 and 315. Alright, so as of right now, I have a shitty belt. I need to order a belt. I use the gym belt, which is not good. But right now, I like this Velcro belt. That doesn't really do anything. So today, I might just go beltless and just focus on using my core. And also, I have a little tendonitis in my left, in my left elbow. So I'm just going to focus on pulling with my back like I should and not pulling with your arms. If you're deadlifting and you yank up and your arms are loose, you can hurt something. So make sure that when you deadlift, you tighten your arms and you pull up. But don't focus on pulling up with your arms. Focus more on your back. Here you go. Go for two. Come on, push. Woo. Colin just said 255, 235 it was, 235, and then I zoomed 225, I just said 275 and 365. Now I'm going to go for a 405 for a 3x3. Three three. Also, when I was warming up in 315, on my second rep I bounced off. I wouldn't recommend doing that for a good clean deadlift rep, make sure that you don't bounce. So right now I'm going for my heavy sets. Now, just a tip, when you go for your heavy sets, you don't want to get so amped up that you're wasting all your energy before it, and you don't want to rip and grip. Now, what I mean by that is ripping and gripping is basically just going down, just like shaking the weight like crazy, and just ripping it up as fast as possible, not thinking about form, because if you do that, you're most likely going to arch your back and you're going to injure yourself. So just try to keep yourself guys focused and not go too insane. Like it's good to get hyped, but if you get too hyped, you might waste some energy and stuff like that. I learned that. So yeah, when I go for my 3x3 three three with 405, I'm just going to stay controlled. When I lift off the weight, I'm going to explode up. I'm not just going to rip it up. I'm going to keep my whole body tense and not leave anything out lagging. So I can just get a good form and a good lift without any injuries. Lil Dirk. Look all that gains. I'm starting to lean forward. It's a good one, bro. Hey, so I'm just doing a commentary over this because when I looked back on the video, you couldn't hear me that well. And also, I apologize for it being blurry. Didn't know that it was blurry. So, yeah. But basically, what I'm explaining right here is that on my last set, on my last rep of doing deadlifts, that what happened was when I went to pull up, I leaned forward and put all my weight forward and I didn't focus on my heels. Now when you do a deadlift, make sure that you focus on your heels and drive through your heels because that way you're going to get more support and more power. Same thing on squat, don't really put all your weight on your toes. This isn't even a belt, you know that? It's more like one of those like weighted bags. Oh. It's like look at that. <laughs> it like overlaps right there. It helps.
цепь. Вот цепь надо снять. Мы когда цепь. Когда мы идем на Make sure to walk. Just make sure that the last one. Don't focus too much on the belt. Focus on flexing your core and just keeping that shit straight the whole time.